video journal, day four, the suggestion box. I've decided I'm being altogether too specific in my approach to this. I know that I, I'm interested in how people get along, how they interact with one another, and nurture and build relationships. Now, Mueller claims that I'm out of touch with society, so I'm going straight to the source. Ryan, my little helper minion, is set to man the box from 10 to 12. It's 10.30 now, so his lazy ass should just be arriving. Now, the concept is simple. We ask anyone walking by if they'd like to make a suggestion. And the interpretation is totally up to them. It could be anything about the world around them. The, the city, their jobs, uh, their families, what, just whatever's on their mind. And then we collect the thoughts and I come up with some grad student way of quantifying unquantifiable data. A jumping off point. Now Karen should be there at noon. Me? I've got a date. <laughs> Hi. Listen, Belle, Jasmine, whatever the hell your name really is, I, I don't know what you're doing here, and I don't care, but stay the hell away from my friends. Ryan is, is sweet and kind and deserves so much better than this Disney nightmare that you're twisting him into. So whatever feelings you're faking, whatever game you think you're playing here, just stop it. How's Venus? You, you think you're so innocent in this. Like we're all not acting a little. No, Karen was acting because it was a joke. And she was drunk. You're letting people fall in love with you. That, that's manipulation, not fun. <laughs> okay. Falling in love with me? If Ryan wants to fall in love with me, it's his problem. I'm just having fun and being social. If he gets attached, nothing I can do. But he's getting attached to a lie. Like we all don't put our best foot forward on a date. Well, I'm not here to give you a lesson in decorum. Just, please, back off. So, friend. Busy morning? You would not believe how fucked up this city is. I had a little kid suggest a peace treaty between North and South Korea, and then what I can only assume is a rabbi suggest hand lotion in public washrooms. Sick. Huh? I know, right? If Wes doesn't pull his thesis out of this box, I don't think he ever will. Well, sir, you're officially relieved. It's noon, and... What? Hey, uh, we are doing a survey, and we were just wondering if you would like to write a suggestion. Suggestion. Hmm. Anything? Anything. Oh. oh, you're a blind asshole. You got it. <sighs> Thought I smelled that perfume. What is that? Winners or something? You found me. Yeah, I'm just on my lunch break. That's great, Ryder. And now you've made a suggestion, so back at her. Who is that other guy? You seen him? Yes. Liar. What are you doing outside anyway? They told me you were sick. You wouldn't be lying to corporate, would you? That'd be a pretty big boo-boo. Boo-boo. Please don't say anything. Date? Ryder. Date? Fine. Okay, fine. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, wear the low-cut purple shirt. Hey, uh, did you want to make a suggestion? Just anything? Yeah, anything that's on your mind. Are you going to see what I wrote? Nope, uh, it's anonymous. You can even fold it up and put it in the box yourself if you like. Uh, hey man. Oh, what's up? You know what's up. Uh, maybe. You actually called it. She... 
dummy. I don't even know if you can call it being dumped. We only went out on two dates, but... Do you know her name's Ariel? It's not even Belle, it's Ariel. Goddamn liar. Are you okay? What? No. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I know for like, what, four days? I'm, I'm okay. I'm alright. Uh, did, did you want to grab a beer or something? Uh, no. No, you, you gotta you gotta man the box. I'm just gonna go. No, yeah, it's just about four. And, you know, I, I don't know if the suggestion box thing's working anyways, so. Yeah. Yeah, let's go grab a beer. Chocolate panties. See, I think they already make those. They sound terrible, but then I don't really like the regular ones, so. Uh, higher railings on suicide bridge. Creepy. Sensible. Curly fries, please. This one just says Jennifer Love Hewitt. And then there's a picture of a boner. Ugh. Oh. Arabs go home. Oh, nope, nope. Here we go. Apple pie Mondays. Oh, I'd love an apple pie Monday. I think we all would. This isn't what we need, though. God, here I thought we'd get these introspective, thought-out commentaries on society. And all people want is food. And Jennifer Love Hewitt. Let's see, that is the problem with society, is that we focus way too much on what we want and don't focus at all at what we need. And that's the problem. We just go around in life finding someone or something to fill a void that can't be filled. Uh, maybe we should call it a night. It's, it's getting kind of late. Wait, what's this one? 3.30, and there's just a phone number. That was when you were on. Yeah. Oh, someone's got a stalker. <laughs> well, lady, gentlemen, enjoy, enjoy, I am out. Day four. Success. Ah. There's something about all this, the, uh, the randomness of pulling society, the diversity of the answers. There are two million people that live in this city, all different. And some, some people want curly fries, some people want ethnic cleansing. I mean, beyond our physical selves, we're each a different species, stirring and wandering amongst each other, searching for sense. And this, a person, a man or a woman, dives in head first. I mean, this could be anything. It could be an army recruiter, uh, or a churchgoer, or a psychopath, or a church-going psychopath. It could be a prank, or it, or it could. Who knows? For so long, I've resisted it, resisted giving over power to some nameless, faceless force that predicts my future. But maybe this force is inevitable. Last year, I would have never called this number. Now, who knows? Good night.